What does it mean, uh, Monique? What does it stand for? A missing number. In this case, we're missing a number, and we're trying to find out what it is. So, n times 9 equals 72. What did you guys get for n? 8. Okay. Did you know this is algebra? Yes. Can I? Okay, 4 times a number equals 24. What is that? 6. 6 times a number equals 36. 6. And 14. 2. Very good. So you guys are all ready for today's lesson because this is the way your brain needs to be thinking for today's lesson. Kevin's dog weighs 7 times as much as Sana's dog. Together the dogs weigh 72 pounds. How much does Evan's dog weigh? Now they gave us a model here, which makes it a lot easier. When you're doing this on your own, you're not gonna get these models set up for you. You have to set them up yourself. So kind of pay attention to how the setup happens so that when you have to do it, you know what you're doing. So we're gonna start with, what do we know? What what part do we know about these dog, uh, these people and their dogs? What do we know, Rashawn? So together the two dogs weigh 72 pounds. So I'm going to put that amount over here. Let me make it a little closer. So together the two dogs weigh 72 pounds. What else do we know? Monique. So Evan's dog is seven times as much, and so we know that he's a bigger dog, right? We know that Evan's dog weighs seven times as much as Oksana. So we're going to have Oksana represented by one at one box, and then we're going to have Evan's dog represented by seven boxes because it's seven times as many so we know that they total 72 this is where it gets tricky so pay attention here's Oksana's dog's weight and here's Evan's dog how many boxes do I have total eight boxes total I have the seven boxes for Evan and I have Oksana's one box so there's eight boxes total I'm going to write that there so I don't forget you don't have to write it. This is just so you guys understand. I need to think about what number <coughs> times 8 equals 72. What number, class? We just did this on the board. Nine. 9. So if I put 9, don't write. Just follow me. We're thinking. If I put 9 in all of those boxes, does that equal 72? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times 9. Does that equal 72? Yes. Yes. And where you guys can make mistakes on this is you will see 7 boxes, and you're going to try to divide that into 72. What you have to remember is it's Evan's dog's weight plus Oksana's dog's weight that equals 72. It's that dog's weight plus that dog's weight, so you need to count all of Evan's and Oksana's when you're doing the division. That's why we have to use all eight boxes. A lot of times we're figuring just one of the one amount, or like maybe Evan's dog's weight or Oksana's weight, but we we only had the total weight, and that Evan's was seven times as much. There's eight boxes. That's what we figured out earlier, and we know that they totaled 72 when we multiply them. So 8 times, we decided what number? 8 times nine. 9 equals 72. So the value of n is 9. 9 is how much whose dog weighs? Uh, Oksana's dog. Now, if I ask you the question, how much Evan's dog's weighed? How many of you think you can tell me how much Evan's dog weighed? So 72 minus Oksana's dog's weight? That would work. That's not one of the options, that's not the option they put up here, but 72 minus 9 equals what? 63. 63. Is there another way I could figure it out? And where did you get 7 times 9 from? 7 times as much as the weight of Oksana's dog. So up here it tells us that he weighed, oh wait, up here. It says that, that Evan's dog weighs 7 times as much as Oksana's. Also, if we look at our model, how many boxes for Evan's? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times nine would give me the weight. Seven times nine is 63. So the dog weighs, Evan's dog weighs 63, and Oksana's weighs nine. To find out how many times as much, use a multiplication model to find out how many more or fewer, model the addition or subtraction. Evan's dog weighs 63 pounds. We've already decided that from the other side. Oksana's dog weighs 9 pounds. 
How much more does Evan's dog weigh than Oksana's dog? So looking at my thing here, is this a multiplication problem? No. Look at the problem again, and I want you to think about it. What we're gonna, what math function are we gonna be using here? The model that they set up has this nice big bar across here, and then this part, and here's another part that are supposed to equal this whole part and part whole, right? You guys remember that from third grade? Um, which dog do you think is represented up here? <coughs> Go ahead and tell me. Evan's, Evan's dog, because he's the bigger dog, right? And how much did Evan's dog weigh? 63, 63 pounds. So, so this is Oksana's dog, and Oksana's dog weighs 9, nine. nine pounds. It's a binky little terrier there. All right, so, so cute. we need to decide how much more. What is this spot that we don't have filled in? What number is that? Are we going to divide or subtract? subtract? We need to subtract. So we're going to take 63 minus 9. We're going to take the weight of Evan's dog minus the weight of Oksana's dog. And what is 63 minus 9? Seven. Seven. Not plus, minus. Um, 54. 54. 54. 54. Tell me down there. So the value of n is 54. So n is the difference between the two dogs. Her rabbit. Together the pets weigh 56 pounds. What does Maria's dog weigh? We're comparing what two animals? A dog and a rabbit. And I could probably guess that the dog weighs more, but I want to double check. Looking at my problem, is it the dog that weighs more or the rabbit that weighs more? The dog. He weighs six times the amount of the rabbit. So I know that this should be the dog and this should be the rabbit. And if I was making this model on my own, I would know that my top needs to be six boxes because he weighs six times as much. And in this case, one, two, three, four, five, six boxes. We have that part. And then, do we have a total for both animals? What is it? 56. 56. Now, when I'm solving this problem, am I going to do 56 divided by six? I have six here. Ah, oh, seven. Because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We have a total of seven boxes. We have a total of seven parts. So we have to decide seven times a number equals 56. What number times seven equals 56, class? Eight. 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 So I'm going to put eights 
And N is eight, we decided. So is eight my answer? No. Mm, not necessarily. If my question is how much does the rabbit weigh, yes, eight is my answer. But I don't know that that's the question. I'm going to go back. What does Maria's dog weigh? So the, the answer is not eight. I need to go back and figure out the dog. Here's the dog's weight up here. So I need to take how many boxes? Six times the eight, and I get 48. 48, and that's how much her dog weighs. What if I asked you what's the difference between the weight of her dog and her rabbit? The dog weighs 48 pounds, and the rabbit weighs eight, and, that, and so when you subtract them, there's a difference of 40 pounds. Last month, Kim trained three times as many dogs as cats. If the total number of cats and dogs she trained last month is 28, how many cats did she train? So let's go and draw our model. I'm going to look back at my problem. We have dogs and cats. Now we're comparing three times as many dogs as there were cats. So what is going to be my first one? Dogs. Dogs, because there's more dogs. And we're going to represent cats with one box. I want you, if you're ready, to look back in the problem and decide how many boxes are going to represent how many dogs we have. <coughs> three boxes, it says right here. Three times as many dogs. So I'm going to put three boxes. And then I have a total. Four. Class, what is my total? Four. Oh, total dogs and cats. Uh, 28. So my equation is going to be... A number times how many boxes are we using here? How many parts? Three, four. Four total. Four. One, two, three, four. A number times four equals 28. There's four boxes. A number times four equals 28. What is that number, class? Seven. Seven. So I'm going to put sevens in here. Is my answer to the problem seven? No. No. Yes. yes. <laughs> I like the no, yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, what is my question? How many cats did Kim train? And she trained seven. seven. So, yes. Kim trained. How many dogs did she train? Raise your hand if you can tell me how many dogs she trained. By counting by sevens up here? Where the dogs are? Okay, so we counted by seven. Seven, 14, 21. Or you can use multiplication. Or you can just add 7 plus 7 plus 7. All right. How many more dogs than cats did Kim train? Well, we just decided that Kim trained 21 dogs. And how many cats? Seven. Seven. So we could do it this way. Or if we wanted to draw a model, here was the dogs. That was 21. Okay. Sorry. That was 21 for the dogs, and for the cats was 7, and we would be looking for this. 21 total, 7 cats. What is the difference here? So we can do 21 minus 7 equals 14.